Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to emulate PlayStation 1 games on your Linux based machine such as Ubuntu using the EPSXE emulator. I've got a video covering it on Windows and I've got a video covering how to emulate games on Mac as well. Feel free to check them out if you're on a different OS. If not, let's get going. First of all, you want to load up a web browser, recommend Chrome and go to epsxe.com i'll provide a link to everything that you'll need to access go to downloads scroll down and select your linux you can even select 32 bit but chances are 64 bit should be supported on your system if you've got a relatively new computer and now what you want to do is download the bios file as well so to do that you just go to ps1 or you google ps1 bios Planet EMU, but again, I'm going to provide links to everything so you can access them directly. Go down and select the SCPH 1001. Go to Telecharger, which is the download button, and that downloads it. And if we just, you know, just open up our directory, I'm just going to delete them because I've already, I already downloaded them before, so I've got two versions of them now. I don't want two versions. And now we need to extract these files. So we need to extract this one. So we'll extract that. That's the BIOS file. We need to extract this one. And this is where EPSXE underscore X64 is. So before we can actually run this, we need to install a couple of dependencies. Go to terminal, type in sudo apt-get install lib sdl dash ttf 2.0-0 click enter type in your password the password will not appear but it is being typed in and this won't take very long it'll take a few more seconds than mine did because i've already done it but it doesn't take long at all next you need to install sudo apt-get install lib curl free Again, this is a quick one as well, just type in Y for do you want to continue? Yes. And that's all done now. So I'm just going to type in clear. I just want to get rid of this. We're actually ready to run this right here. So we can't just, you know, you know run it like this because it's unable to understand what we're trying to do. So we need to navigate to the directory in terminal. So click, type in CD, drag and drop this folder. And in here now, if you type in ls, you'll see all the files are there. So you want to do epsxe underscore x64. Oh, sorry, I meant to put dot forward slash. And it says permission denied. If that occurs, all you want to do is right click this, go to properties, go to permissions, allow executing file as program, click x. And now if we run this, as you can see, it runs fantastic. We need to set up the BIOS file. So go to config, BIOS. By default, it doesn't provide one. We've already downloaded it. Go to open. And we want to open this directory within our finder. So right click here, go open with file manager. And I'm just going to close this down a second. So in here, we need to copy our BIOS file that we downloaded, which is this file right here. So copy that, paste it here. And next, what we wanna do, actually, let me just show you the BIOS file running. If we go back to here, go to open, select the BIOS file, click okay. To confirm it's running, go to file, run BIOS. And if we get this wonderful PlayStation sound and it takes us to the memory card menu, I will turn the volume down a second. If it takes us to this, we know it's running correctly. If you click escape, it'll take you back to EPSXE. And, oh, shut it down. But there's actually one other thing we want to do. I'm going to show you how to actually run games now. That's set it up. But what you want to do is go here, go to you know e.psxe, you know where everything is. And I recommend creating a folder, calling the games, and in here, put all your games. I've already got a game on the desktop called Crash Bandicoot in a folder. It doesn't have to be in a folder, but it just helps organize your files. Copy and paste that here. Once you've done that, just launch the EPSXE again. And to set this up, go to 
open game list, go to folders, click the three dots, and you want to select games, open, and I did not want to select Crash Bandicoot, so I just want to select games, not Crash Bandicoot, because this way, you might think nothing's appeared, click refresh, loads up the game, click get covers, it gets the covers as well, and as you can see, it's recognizing the stock keeping unit, it's getting the picture, the thumbnail, all of that, you know, good stuff, and it's detecting the company, the, the actual genre, and all you have to do is add games to that folder, come here, click refresh, get covers, you're good to go. Before we run the game, I want to show you a couple more things. You can modify the memory card. By default, there will be memory cards if we go to here. So we can just select this memory card. And for the second port, we can select this one right here. And you can add more. You can just copy and paste them. The other thing I want to show you is gamepad. So if you go to port one, you know, pad one, you can modify these as you want to. You could add, you know, connect up a controller as well. So these are mapped to, you know, specific keys on the keyboard by default. I'm gonna leave them as they are, but you can edit them right here as well if you want to. But for demonstration purposes, I don't really need to. Go to file and you can run an ISO file, like a bin Q file or a dot ISO file. You can run a CD-ROM. But if we just go to game list, all our games are up here there. Select the game, double click it. It'll load after a few seconds. I'm gonna turn the volume up a bit. And just gives us a frame rate counter here. So I'm just gonna get into the game, just show you working smoothly, then that's it. That's you all set up to emulate PlayStation 1 games on your Linux based machine at 60 frames per second. Any game you want. Simple as that. So let me just get into the game. So I'm going to go to start. By default, X is Z, and the X key or the X you know, letter on your keyboard is square. So honest dot and the arrows are is, is the D-pad on your controller. And for the first Crash Bandicoot, that's actually all you need. But I recommend modifying it for other games. As you can see, as simple as Pi, we now have Crash Bandicoot working. And any other game that you want. It could be Metal Gear Solid, it could be Gran Turismo, whatever you want. Let me just get to the bit where we get all three Aku Aku masks. And then I will end the video. But we're all actually done for the video if you don't want to you know, watch me for a couple of minutes playing this. Feel free to end it because we're all done. Here we go. Uh, let's see how well I can play with a keyboard. That was close. I know I've missed some boxes. I will come back and farm them later. Ah, I was trying to walk over here and I messed up. I messed up. So if we just click escape, we'll just exit out to it. And we can quit out of it permanently. So that's how you set up the EPSXE emulator on a Linux based machine. So you can emulate PlayStation 1 games. Pretty simple. But if you have any questions about anything to do with emulation or hacking, Feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome video.